Hello, my fellow Jaguar enthusiasts. I'm Valentin Christia, owner of Value Eurosport Channel. I'm here to talk to you about a 2006 Jaguar XKR triple black, that is ebony on charcoal with a black top. Victory Edition, also called Final Edition in Europe, for those of you in Europe. And I will be talking about uh, what makes this car special and what makes it even a collectible car being a Final Edition. And we are here in beautiful North Carolina, Lake Jordan. So I hope you enjoy our show. So we specialize in these Jaguar XKRs. We've had quite a few Victory Edition cars. And um, I have to say that these uh, triple black Victory Editions are very rare. If I had to count them, out of 100 cars we've had so far in, in this body style, X100, I would say this is only probably the third or fourth that we had in this, in this color combination. We've had other color combinations, of course, but I think this is really, really desirable. If you look on the inside here, uh, the ebony leather with the ivory stitching, it just creates a beautiful contrast. It's just so classy. The minute you enter this car, you feel special. Along with the carbon fiber interior, right next to the ebony charcoal and the black steering wheel, it just looks special. I mean, it's, um, I know some of you, including me, I like the wood, the, the dark walnut wood or the elm wood of the Victory Edition XK8. We're partial to that. I, I understand what you guys are saying. But, this carbon fiber, let me just say, it looks great next to the charcoal interior. Also next to the uh, ivory interior, like the other car that I had, a couple black on ivory, which is, by, by the way, on its way to Germany. Um, I have an interested buyer in Germany who loved the car, and um, hopefully he loves it even more once he, once he gets his hand on it. Anyway, I have to say, this interior is just uh, classy and understated. It's a pleasure. It's a treat to the senses. So let's go around and I'll show you what I really like about this car and what I hope you guys will enjoy. So this being a Victory Edition, it has the, uh, the checkermark pattern on the uh, Jaguar logo here and also on the sill plates. I'll go around and show you. Um, I really like this one-piece mesh grille much cleaner look than the uh, older up to 04 body style where they have it break it up into three pieces with two little plastic bumperettes in the middle this gives it a clean look it reminds me a lot of an aston martin so i think that's the reason people like them so much to the point that they are more expensive than the newer ones that come after it these are in my uh, in my opinion among the most desirable bbs wheels for this car they're called Perseus wheels they're made by bbs 20 inch and they just look beautiful it reminds me of some wheels they used on porsche 911s granted it's not a porsche but i think it's something even more special than that there's the r for the supercharged also the sill plates as i mentioned they have the checker mark pattern here and uh, this being a Victory Edition, they get um, floor mats with leather edge and a Leaping Jags logo on it, which is um, kind of makes you feel special. Back seat, not very practical. It's kind of small, but you can still put a pet in there. If I had a pet, if I had a dog, I'd probably put them in there. I have cats, so I don't think they make good travel companions. So um, you can also put your groceries in there or you know or baby if, if it's small enough also what i really like about these cars is that even after you took the top down there's plenty of room in the trunk here to put in uh, two sets of golf clubs as you can see plenty of room here a lot of convertible cars that i've dealt with mercedes sl 500 or lexus convertibles or the hardtop convertible once you fold them once you open the top they fall down to here and there's not much room to put anything else under it there. So that's a huge plus for me, if you ask me. You can take this car on a long trip across country. You have room for two suitcases and take the top down. No problem. Plus you have a 6D changer in the back here. You can play a music. Classy understated look. It's just a beautiful car. 
whoever I show these cars to, they always think it's a new car. They think it's a 2015, 16. I keep telling them, no, it's only an 05, 06. And they're like, no way, this can't be a, a 14, 15 year old car. So, special order red Brembo calipers. That also sets, sets this car apart. That's a, that was only, a, I believe it was only a $500 um, special option, which is totally worth it in my opinion. Plus the uh, crush shield rotors all around that helps it uh, cool the rotors quicker so you can drive it in sport mode if you like down twisty mountain roads and and uh, not overheat. We have the same brake, brake action as you first as when you first take it out of the garage. Of course the piece de resistance I should talk about the V8 supercharged engine. Let me start this baby up so you can hear that cat growl. Listen to that exhaust. 4.2 liter V8 supercharged double overhead cam. 390 horsepower. I have to say, when you drive this car down the road and you have the to top down, you hear that exhaust note in the back. It's like a cat growling. I love this car. <laughs> it's a cruiser, very comfortable. This is a treat to all senses. One of my viewers asked me at the time how quickly the convertible top opens and closes. So for your viewing pleasures, here it is. First you start the car. Remember to do this before you can close the top, you have to take this boot cover off. Otherwise it will lock it in place and it won't let it close. So very easy to pop this out and if you start timing now there's only one button you operate I think it takes about nine seconds or so to close it or 20 seconds somewhere around there just hold this button down it locks it at the top you hear a little clink and then it closes the uh, the back windows and then if you hold it a little longer it also um, closes the uh, front windows now let's see how quickly it drops the top I think it opens the top a lot quicker than it closes it now that we've talked about all these um, features that set this car apart, let's go on a quick ride and see how this car feels, okay? Hop along! Thank you for watching our video i hope you enjoyed it we have more coming on the way we have a uh, satin silver jaguar xka victory edition that's the first time we ever did that color on ivory so that should be an interesting color combination i'm really looking forward to seeing that and uh, also in the works a uh, 2004 maserati coupe with the paddle transmission that should be fun to see I can't wait to get that car. It's been in a shop, but it's making its way. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and see you next time. I almost ran into a deer. No, don't say that. <laughs>
Hello, G my f no. Okay, I didn't wake up. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> what should I do with my hands? That's what life is about, make memories. <laughs>